So first I installed the Fixel OS. Right after that I received the OTA update. In that OTA update I did the dirty flash. That dirty flash made all the apps unusable. At least most of the app. And then what I did I just uh, post up all the things clear cache or clear data and then i just re-logged into all the application and then i received again the ota update which i thought of doing dirty flash but i just did the clean flash this build is the fixel os of uh, uh, february 2nd 23's uh, build which i was uh, using for past a week so in this video we will see uh, what are all the things you can expect from this so yeah let's take an in-depth look i don't want to uh, make this video really really long so let's uh, make it uh, really crisp and good this is the uh, latest uh, fixel os uh, made for uh, redmi note 10 pro or pro max by the rn so this build date is uh, february 2nd uh, with the security patch of uh, january 2023 the kernel here we have is 4.14.304 which is Vantam kernel. So boot animation is the same like every other uh, Fixel uh, or Google based uh, boot animation. Just a Google logo appears dotted and it will just uh, reveal the home screen. Second is DRM status. DRM status right? it's alone supported. It is showing like it supports the 4K footages in Netflix and Amazon Prime. Uh, I didn't test it. You know why. So yeah. Uh, then I have tested the camera 2 API. Camera 2 API is enabled by default. It's level 3. So you can use the uh, G cams on your uh, Fixel OS. Next, uh, the carrier aggregation. Carrier aggregation works just fine. I just used the uh, Geo. It was using uh, two bands in the same time and the speed was just fine. And the net, uh, safety net, safety net wise, uh, it just passes by default. You don't need to do anything. You can use uh, banking apps like HDFC or payment apps like uh, Google Pay or Paytm. Next thing I have uh, run the 3D uh, wildlife and the score that I got is uh, 1134 and the FPS is 6.80, which is uh, typical like every other uh, custom ROM. Next I have also run these stress test. Stress test wise, it really uh, went well. So it stayed above a 90 percentage all the time, all the 15 minutes. So great thumbs up in that one. Next, I have uh, run the Geekbench. Geekbench was uh, in the single core, I got 541 and the multi core is 1509, which is uh, same uh, like every other uh, custom room in this uh, uh, particular device. So next, uh, the computational wise, I got a 1322 uh, uh, Vulcan score in the Geekbench 5. Next, I have uh, also have uh, installed the BGMI. BGMI wise, uh, it has some sort of uh, thing going on. HD graphics in high frame rate, it's just giving like uh, 25 to 30 FPS, having little bit, uh, uh, how would say, uh, frame skips uh, here and there, but in the low gra in the medium graphics with the higher frame rate, it was fine constantly giving like 30 to 40 uh, FPS. So gaming wise, it is not uh, that much great in my opinion. And all the time I just used this uh, device in uh, 120 force, 120 uh, hits uh, refresh rate uh, locked. And it has some uh, minimal uh, what would say, options like tap to wake up or tap to sleep. Network monitor indicator is dedicatedly not there, but if I connect to Wi-Fi or something, the speed is uh, visible uh, here, uh, which is really good. And there are a uh, few other good things, uh, which uh, is uh, which is the only uh, the main uh, uh, MSP of uh, this uh, Fixel OS is this uh, here you can see right MI camera. This is the only thing uh, that makes people to install it. It uh, it is like uh, not uh, great in customization, not uh, that much great in performance or something. But day to day uh, uh, usage wise, it is actually uh, good. Uh, you don't feel any major glitch or something it just works flawlessly MIUI camera also well it's some sort of it is implemented uh, fine i would say taking photos a um, little bit stable one it's fine but i had uh, faced some issues when i'm using uh, this uh, MIUI to capture it uh, through the front camera so when i uh, started uh, using it and start the recording and if i stop the recording again uh, it had some sort of uh, glitching effect uh, going on. 
so i will i have <laughs> i have fortunately recorded that one so i can play it so it was it was giving that uh, glitching effect uh, for a frame skips or something so that kind of issue is there in the ma camera you can but you can use the google camera that is the most probably the uh, uh, what i would say uh, good thing about this uh, pixel camera uh, sorry pixel os so what else is there uh, in this one uh, i would say <laughs> it's nothing more mostly nothing uh, that i can uh, see uh, visibly uh, which is uh, better than any uh, custom rom like uh, evaluation x or uh, that kitchen rom so uh, why i am not going to recommend this uh, fixel os well the first thing is uh, this uh, dirty flash or something it is not uh, supporting the ot update here i still uh, don't uh, see the ot option inside the setting if i search update system update is still not there inside the setting so even if you in the future if you get any update you need to do the uh, dt flash through the pixel uh, os in that time i'm still not sure whether uh, <laughs> whether the application whichever you had will work so that is one of the major drawback i guess uh, so ot update is uh, not that much great which is uh, definitely going to make me like uh, don't use it or something because evaluation x uh, giving some good uh, uh flawless ot updates or pixel experience in the case but uh, this one is uh, not uh, in that path second thing is uh, the battery backup uh, which is really really obvious because i don't mostly feel the battery backup issue but uh, even i'm not sure whether it is worst case or something but so a lot of users have uh, after watching this installation video they said bro battery is just goes like this like that but when i faced it i actually said Ma uh, this is not uh, something that i would expect if you kept your phone at 100 percentage in the night uh, tomorrow morning it will be like 75 or 78 every hour it will uh, lose like 2 to 3 percentage of battery backup or something which is uh, it's fine if you are a heavy user or something uh, it's just fine but if you randomly use your phone and uh, normally your other os gives like two and a half days battery this may give uh, one and a half or two days of uh, battery and the screen on time it is uh, just uh, one or two hours less uh, than the uh, typical other uh, custom roms i don't know how many services are happening in the back end so yeah that is uh, my concern uh, here and uh, the device to charge uh, 0 to 100 it takes like uh, one hour uh, 40 minutes or something one and a half hour so that is also uh, that yeah that is <laughs> pretty much about the fixel oh yes there isn't uh, much uh, great about uh, this one so yeah that's what about uh, this video thank you for watching quote metal